<laughs> let's uh, let's continue, man. I definitely enjoyed that conversation about the riots and um, uh, rapper Forty Two Doug. You, you're talking about the streets, man. Um, let's take a brief trip to Niggaverse really quick, but this is a good message. Uh, Forty Two Doug, who is a he's a gangster rapper. He's facing a lot of time in uh, prison right now for crimes committed. Uh, he was next up. He was on a lot of songs with Lil Baby and and Dub Baby and every baby you can think of. So many babies out there now, but um, 42 Doug delivered a message from jail. He said, quote, ain't no reward for keeping it real. And ain't nothing. Man, talk to us, Lonzo. Bro. No. I tell you something else. Oh, I'm, I'm, I, they're going to cancel my hood card. But what's the, what's the purpose of being a real nigga? What's, what's a real nigga? Okay, real nigga will watch you drop your wallet, pick that motherfucker up and say it's a blessing. A real nigga will watch you drop your wallet with your ID in the motherfucker and put it in his pocket. Oh, Lord, just bless me with this right here. A real nigga will come in your house and pick up something and steal it and walk out with it and call it a blessing. Ah, dude, I, 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 ooh, it's, it's, but here we are now. It's too late for him. It, take, it took him facing all this time to realize that keeping it real, to who? To from people Marla that are outside? Marlon huh? said drop that you organ. Know, you got that organ? You know what? Where my organ at, man? Uh, well, that is my organ. That's my, I, that's my, I want the organ. I don't want that one right there. I want this one right here. <laughs> keeping it real. Keeping it real to who? What is the purpose of keeping it real? Why do you want to keep it real? Who's going to benefit from you keeping it how is your family going to benefit from you keeping it real? You locked up in jail, facing all kind of basketball scores at the time. Meanwhile, you just subject a conversation for a few months. Maybe a, maybe a, maybe a, uh, yeah, a few months. After that, you're going to be forgotten about. And when you come back, everybody that you was fighting for is going to be gone. Everything you was fighting for, everything you was keeping it real for is going to be gone. They done moved on. They didn't got truck driving jobs. They didn't got forklift driving job. They didn't start doing other things. They realized, shit, I got old, man. I got to go get me some money. I got, I got to work on my social security. I can't be out in these streets hanging with y'all no more. Meanwhile, you've been sitting fucked off all yours. They got shit coming. All yours. I know cast men and people got mad. They got mad at their homies because when they got out of jail, maybe 10, 15 years, the homies wasn't doing what their homies used to do. Man, we got to go out and go, I ain't doing that shit no more. Some cats learn, you know, and they still, I still love you, but I got, I got three or four little ones looking at me right now. Okay. I'll drink with you, but I'm not going to I'm not going to I will drink in my backyard. I'm not going to sit on the goddamn curb and do that shit. And, 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 and no, I'm not going to get in your bullshit. I'm not risking my freedom for your bullshit. And that's the part that some people, if you take certain things away from them, they don't have nothing else, man. If you take certain things away from certain guys, baby, some guys, I got buddies that still talk that hood shit at 60 years old, dude. Crazy, you know, man. Too. You know, hey. YouTube is full of 40, 50, 60 year olds going back and forth, forth right now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I ref man, why aren't you, why aren't you on, on, uh, on Clubhouse? I'm not oh, getting oh. that petty ass shit. Thank I got you. shit to do. My buddy, always, man, we should come on, come on the Clubhouse with us. You know what? If you get me an intelligent room, if somebody got some sense, uh, I'll be there. But even the ones that have some sense is always a motherfucking fool in the goddamn gallery. Goddamn. They don't want, which, oh, man, you know what, man? That ain't, you know, that ain't keeping it 100. Dude, I'm not trying to keep on. I'm trying to keep it real, okay? Real from my, from a grown-ass man perspective. Now, if you don't like that, then I'm, I don't do the hood shit, dude. I'm sorry. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm still a street dude, from, but I've grown up. I grew the fuck up, Okay. I done a lot of street shit, but I ain't never been no gang banger. I did my hustling. I did my did my dirt. I did whatever I had to do to survive. I'm still surviving today. And like I tell anybody, oh nigga, you just old. You know what old stand for? Outlive like dumb now. shit. Outlive dumb shit. Okay, nigga, you try to you got to try and get old. Outlive some dumb shit. If dumb shit takes you out, nigga, you ain't done nothing. We ain't done nothing. But left a pretty corpse for people to look at for a couple days if you didn't get shot in the face. Ooh. You know, if, you, know, 
died young, left a good looking corpse. You know, I stand up in the club in a cast. Come on, man. Ain't they, dude? And we've accepted so much unnatural shit to be natural. Now they're wrapping caskets like they wrap cars. You seen this now? Oh man, come oh, on, dude. Yes. They got yeah, a crazy Gucci and shit. Yeah. yeah man. They got a casket wrapping shot on Crenshaw. So the nigga died, he go out in style. No, you fucking don't. No, I'm not bullshitting. Wow, dude. Are you fucking kidding? I'm yeah, the casket wrapping window. shop on Pinshaw. Right near Exposition. Wrap that some bitch any way you want it. You buy old cheap ass I'm casket. right now, dog. I'm dude, totally stunned right now. I, me and the unknown was rolling the Harold and Bells one day. I said, look, man. And you see the sign right there. If you go, if you headed uh, north on Crenshaw, it's on your left-hand side of the street. Right, uh, right as you cross, right before you get to uh, Exposition. Um... It's a big old sign, and I think that's for the store downstairs. They it's, they wrap shit. Los Angeles casket wraps. I'm looking at oh, it right now. Got you. Three five one one Crenshaw. Might as well give them a give come them on, man. <laughs> come on. They didn't made uh, shit. They didn't made getting out of here cold as fuck. And here's the crazy part. That motherfucker gonna be wrapped and gonna be viewed for maybe five, four, five days. Four, five days. You're going to spend all that money. You're going to put them in the casket and then wrap that motherfucker. Take some pictures by it. Okay. You're going to see it at the viewing. Then you're going to throw that motherfucker in the ground. Another way to spend money in the niggerverse. And you know a high percentage of another way are spend, people. Spend some crazy ass funds in the niggerverse. I, I, was, know, I, would give, I would give the phrase niggerverse to Paul Mooney just to hear him talk about the niggerverse. Niggerverse. It sounds like it's made for his voice, right? It sounds like something that's made for Paul Mooney. Okay? The niggerverse. Well, you wrap caskets and throw it in the ground three days later. <laughs> the niggerverse. The niggerverse. They pop you at the club with a beer in your hand and the motherfucker's still full when they bury your ass. The niggerverse. <laughs> Okay. The niggerverse, where you kill somebody and rap about it in the song and give the cops yeah. all the details. The niggerverse. Yeah. Only in the niggerverse. Will you kill? Give us your favorite niggerverse in the comment. Give us your favorite niggerverse in the comment. Yeah, in the niggerverse, where you can kill somebody, rap about it, and get mad when the cops kick your door in. <laughs> 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 get mad in the motherfucker. Who told on me? Who told on me? Hey, hey, man, this is what it is, Doc. Man, 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 cracking me up, on uh, cracking me up. I got you. Got me calling you Unc, like uh, Dot Marlin in the uh, in the chat. Um, hey, Lonzo, uh, Prez wants to know. Hey, Lonzo, what do you? What I guess he meant. What did you think when Tupac was dissing Dr. Dre for leaving Death Row? Do you think he was keep trying to keep it too real? 